What's up everybody, it's your boy Eric Pumiz, Computer Solutions. So, on this YouTube channel, a lot of people always ask me, Easy, what's your daily driver? What phone that you like? And I always used to say, well listen, I don't have a daily driver. I pick up a lot of different phones, I review a lot of phones, and I kind of fooling myself here, right? I might review Motorola phones, LG phones, and listen, I'm not taking nothing away from those devices, but for me, I always go back to one King Supreme. One device I always pick up, my Galaxy Note 8 or my Galaxy Note 9. So that is gonna be my daily driver. Let me give you my thoughts on why I'm picking these two phones as my daily driver, King Supreme of all times. So sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So I came to the realization, I review a lot of phones, Motorola, Apple, LG, everything in between. And I come to find out that one phone that I always pick up all the time to get work done, a phone that probably never let me down, is the Galaxy Note series of devices. Whether or not you got the Galaxy Note 8 or the Galaxy Note 9, these are king supreme devices for me. So the Galaxy Note 8 or the Galaxy Note 9 for me brings a lot to the table. It brings good functionality, good body style, good screen real estate. It gives me a whole lot. Listen, forget about the specs, forget about everything. Let's go to talk about what the phone could do for you and what this phone does for me. Listen, when it all boils down, the Galaxy Note 9 is a complete device. Let me give you a few reasons why I like the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy Note 9. It's the design. The design of this device is like no other. Very classy, all glass design with, with a metal bill, and it is beautiful. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. When I look at the Galaxy Note 9 or the Galaxy Note 8, it screams quality. So I know that when I pull out my Galaxy Note 8 or my Galaxy Note 9, it's ball status. So when it all boils down, when it comes down to the quality of the device, when it comes down to looking at the phone, the build quality is king supreme in my book. So that's that's one of the reasons why I like the Galaxy device, right? It's because of the build quality. Also, when you talk about the screen, 6.3 inches, Quad HD Plus display, AMOLED, one of Samsung's beautiful panels out there. I mean, when you look at the screen on the Galaxy Note 9 or the Galaxy Note 8, it screams quality. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And it has enough screen real estate to use the Mighty S Pen. So when looking at the device, you know one thing, that the Galaxy Note 9 or the Note 8, when it comes down to the screen quality, it is the best of the best, in my opinion. So let me talk about some of my personal reasons why I like the Galaxy Note 9, right? The Galaxy Note 9 brings something to the table like no other, and it brings the mighty S Pen. Listen, if you don't utilize the S Pen, you would understand what I'm talking about. So when I pull out the S Pen and the S Pen software, it brings me to the next level because I can not only write documents, I can sign PDFs, I can edit photos, I can do a lot of things with the S Pen and even with the new S Pen with the new enhanced features by taking photos and stuff like that with the Bluetooth S Pen, it brings it to the next level. Listen, the S Pen software, and I made a lot of videos about this, the S Pen and the S Pen software is like no other. I've demonstrated that over and over on this YouTube channel. So when you pull out the S Pen and the S Pen software on this device, it's King Supreme. I mean, listen, it is King Supreme. You, you can't mimic this on no other phone. Yes, you can use your finger and all that stuff like that, but you don't get the precision of an S Pen to S Pen to screen. And it's, you can only do that with a Galaxy Note. And that's what make these devices so special uh, when we talk about the S Pen. Now, a lot of y'all might say, well, easy. Are you going overboard about this S Pen? Listen, if you use the S Pen as much as I use the S Pen, nah, I'm not going overboard. I think that the S Pen and the S Pen software is definitely king supreme uh, when you're using it. So let's talk about performance on the Galaxy Note series of devices, whether or not you got the Galaxy Note 8 or the Galaxy Note 9, and that's DeX. Listen, I I know that's functionality, but I want to tie performance with DEX because when you use DEX, listen, 
you're talking about a different level here. You can make a PC-like experience with a phone. Now you can use a USB Type-C to HDMI to your monitor or TV, and you can get a PC-like experience. Let me give you an example. I'm in a hotel for a business trip. I didn't bring my laptop, but I had to get work done. Listen, all I had was a USB Type-C to HDMI cable in my bag, and I plugged it up to the hotel monitor, Boom, I got a full-fledged PC. When I say full-fledged PC, I mean it using splash top software or some other online software. I can connect to my remote server and I can run EXE programs. I've demonstrated that on this YouTube channel a lot of times. That means that I can run DEX software and if I need to, I can run high-end EXE programs straight from my phone. And that's very difficult to do. And it runs pretty good. I mean, runs exceptionally well so when it comes down to performance and I understand the reason why people want to get the 512 and the 8 gigs of RAM that's what it's for pure performance when it comes down to using DEX so when it comes down to it I think the Galaxy Note 9 and the Galaxy Note 8 with DEX support running a PC like experience listen we talk about thousand dollar phones we talk about a whole lot of different things but when you put the PC-like experience from a phone to your monitor, wow, now you just replaced the PC. And listen, on this YouTube channel, I've demonstrated uh, many a times, like I say, on how I run EXE programs straight from my phone to a monitor. Listen, before I continue, I do understand that people don't have Galaxy Note 9s or Galaxy Note 8s. It's not they per se. They don't use the S Pen. They don't use DeX. They have a computer for that. Or they don't like to write on the screens. They get other devices for that. I do understand that. But for me, in my experience, I like using a portable device that turns into a PC. Not only that, when I pull out the S Pen and the S Pen software, it works great for me. So let's talk about the cameras. The cameras on the Galaxy Note 9 has stepped up a notch, right? Coming from the Galaxy Note 8 going to the Galaxy Note 9, you got your variable aperture. You got 1080p 60 frames per second has been fixed. Now, I complained about this on a lot of Galaxy phones, about 1080p 60 frames per second was terrible. But on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy Note 8, those issues has been resolved. So it's no longer complaining about 1080p 60 frames per second. I'm not seeing the focus issues on this device, but but I do want to say that the Galaxy Note 9 and the Galaxy S9 is not my first choice when it comes down to the cameras, even though they're fantastic cameras. Listen, on this YouTube channel, I've always stated that I like LG cameras. I like the manual mode on LG cameras. I like everything on LG cameras. So I use the LG G6 and the LG G7 cameras. To me, it's just superb. But I will put the Galaxy Note 9 a second, to me, in my opinion, a second when it comes down to the cameras. It's just my personal preference. Listen, I've talked about this a lot. I like LG cameras. I prefer LG cameras, but I'm not taking nothing away from Samsung cameras, but it is my personal opinion that I like LG cameras. But overall, the cameras, in my opinion, is king supreme. So at the end of the day, the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy Note 9 is my favorite phones, is my daily drivers, is devices that I always go to for business and getting work done. Whether or not it's the body style, the cameras, uh, whether or not DeX, using the S Pen and everything in between. Like the battery life on the Galaxy Note 8 and the Galaxy Note 9 has been pretty good. The performance has been pretty good. Everything about it has been pretty good on a Galaxy devices, right? So, you know, listen, I'm not taking nothing away from the iPhone. You know, the iPhone does its job. I'm not taking nothing away from the iPhone. And a lot of people might say, well, you know, the iPhone is the best thing since sliced bread. It is what it is. But when it comes down to the iPhone and the Galaxy Note devices, you can't put it in the same category. <laughs> <laughs> this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Galaxy Note 9 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.